Hi, this is Randy Stone. I cover the night beat for the Chicago Star. My stories start in many different ways. This one began with a man who was blind and ended when he saw his blindness went deeper than his eyes. Night Beat, starring Frank Lovejoy as Randy Stone. It was after 11 when I turned into that section of North Clark that begins to wake up then. Tonight it was jumping no more than usual. It just seemed that way. I threaded my way through the visiting playboys from Keokuk and St. Louis and the whining panhandlers and the sad-eyed gals. Then I stopped for a minute to watch old Pop. There he stood, as I'd seen him stand night after night before the little burlesque theater, sawing away at the same old tune and the same old battered fiddle. I walked up to him, listened for a moment, and then... Thank you, thank you. Business good tonight, Pop? Randy. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. You never missed, do you? (laughs) Not my regulars. How have you been? Oh, good, good. You? I've... All right. Business good? Lousy. Well, still early. Midnight shows ought to bring in some tariff. Uh Uh-huh. What's it look like tonight, Randy? Well, I don't have to tell you, Pop. I think you, can, I think you can see more than I can. Yeah, that's the trouble with being blind. It's not what you miss without eyes, but what you do see. I can feel them, Randy. The cheap sports. The ones who drop a penny in my cup. Drop it in from way up because it sounds heavier when it hits. Big shots. The ones who drop half dollars when they're with a girl and pass me up when they're alone. <laughs> Where do I fit in, Pop? You never change. Always a quarter. Night you drop in something else, I'll know something's wrong. Our show's breaking. Here come the girls. Dancers, they call themselves. Dancers, cheap, shoddy. Oh, shoddy. careful, Pop. Oh, well, well. If it ain't Horace Greasy. Greeley. It's Horace Greeley. How are you, Pearl? Feet are killing me. <laughs> From what? Standing in one spot? And... Oh, I should move around? Here. Thank you. For nothing. I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays, Randy. Now you have to wait your turn. See the show? No, should I have? No, nah, no one's moving in tomorrow. Bigger and better. And bearer. When I'm paid to wear more, I'll know I'm washed up. <laughs> How's it going? Same old grind. Ha, get it? Every night the same lousy joke. So what? Every night you play the same lousy tune. Oh, who asked for hyper? Long time ago, I, I played better. Yeah, I played fiddle for the czar, so comes the revolution. Honest, Pop, you know anything else? Who'd recognize it around here if I did? So where's your high hat? Oh, shut up. Now, listen. She burlesque dancing. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you calling up? You, I'm... you, all of hey, you. Hey, Pop, now, Pop, take it easy. What's the matter with you? Now, let me alone. Just let me alone, that's all. Hey, wait a sec. Well, what's eating on him? He blew up like a boiler. Yeah. He ain't never done that before. And calling me a cheap dancer. Who does he think he is? Plays for nickels and sops himself in cheap wine when he's got the price. He... Hey, Randy. What? No wonder. He was sober. Yeah, I saw that, too. First time I ever seen him come out from under that cloud. He's sick. Well, maybe there's something else for him. Nah, he'll take his nickels and dimes, buy a bottle, and soak in it. Believe me, there's nothing wrong with Pop that a wet cork won't cure. I don't know. I don't know. There was something else. Honest, you give me the willies. <laughs> okay, Pearl, I'll throw in a cup of coffee. Come on. So we had coffee and we talked about Pop. No one knew where he'd come from. He just showed up one night with a battered fiddle under his arm and started playing. It was a half hour or so after I left Pearl. I moseyed through the street, found myself back at the same place I started, but Pop wasn't there. I told myself he was well in the middle of the pickling process. Nothing to get excited about. He'd show up tomorrow night. But that ever-loving curiosity rang up a tilt inside me. I went hunting. I didn't find Pop. And when I passed an all-night hock shop, something in the window sent me inside. Yes, sir. You see something you like? Yeah, that uh, violin in the window. The violin? Oh, sure, sure. You want to see it? Yes, I'd like to. Sure, it ain't often I get a piece like this. No, sir. It ain't often I get a chance to offer something like this. Horowitz himself couldn't want one any better. Yeah, I'll tell him when he gives up the piano. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Where'd you get this? Uh, from a collection. It's a fine old violin, maybe a hundred years. A few scratches. How much did you give him for it? Uh, give who? The blind man who brought it in. Yeah, how come you know where I got it? Huh? How come? I'd know this violin in a hundred. Now, come on. Uh, how much do you want for it? Mm, Twenty bucks. Fifteen. I paid that. Okay, twenty. Uh, give me the receipt. Uh, just take it. Give me the money and take it. The receipt, Buster. I need it for my expense account. Uh, you a copper? Why ask that? If you ain't, why are you asking all the questions? Why you... Uh, What's bothering you? If you got this violin legitimately, you'll sell it without all this ping pong. I got it legitimately. Okay, then. The receipt. Neither of us is getting any younger. Well, I ain't got a receipt. Oh? Why not? Look, the guy comes in. He wants to hock this fiddle. I can't uh-huh. give him no dough on it. Not like he wants anyway. So? We make a deal of swap. For what? Look, I'm only telling you this because I don't want no trouble. But he wants a rod, a heater. You let him have a gun? Yeah, but... Was it loaded? Maybe a couple of shells, maybe, but... Got anything on paper? His address, maybe? Oh. But you let him have a gun? He was blind. I ain't gonna give anybody a rod if they look like they're going out for a heist. I got a legitimate business. What could a blind guy do with a gun? Figure it out. I'm trying to tell you that. I'm clean. I tell you I'm clean. I had no idea where to look for Pop, but I thought maybe one person might know. Pearl. I found her backstage just about ready for her last turn. Grab yourself a fan and cut in any place. Uh, Pearl, this has got to be quick. You know where Pop lives? Huh? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? He traded his violin for a gun. What for? I'd like to know. Now, come on. You got any idea where he lives? No. But I walked a couple of blocks with him one night. He was too stiff to do it alone. Yeah? Then he turned off in some street. I didn't go no further. Feet were killing me. Which street? I never look at street signs. Um, uh, there was a candy store on the corner. So you know the street? I guess so. All right, then let's go. But my aunt... Forget it for now. Pop's liable to do something with that gun. I... Okay, I'll fix it. Don't make no difference anyhow. New show opening tomorrow. Hey, Gracie! Gracie! Yeah? Come here. Sure. Oh, pleased to meet you. You ain't. And you ain't gonna. Now, listen, you gotta go on in my place. Me? Me? You've been yammering all good, John. Now's your chance, honey. Oh, I don't know nothing. It ain't education they want out there. Here, take my balloon. Blow it up a little bigger. You need it. Oh, but I can't. All you got to do is be careful of the guy in the first box. He's got a rubber band and some bent pins. Let's go, Randy. We tore out of the theater before she had much more than just time to throw on a coat. I'll say this for Pearl. She didn't catch cold easily, but if there was a wind blowing, she'd have been a sensation. Anyway, she found the street and a few questions and answers sent us to what is politely known as a theatrical boarding house. And then outside Pop's door. Bust it in, Randy. Pop! Hey, Pop, it's Randy. Open up. Bust it in. Okay, look out. Wait. Pop. Are you all right? Yes, I, I'm all right. What do you want? Are we coming in, Pop? No. Are we are coming in? Yo, Sponge, what's the idea of throwing a scare in Wait a minute, take it easy, Pearl. All right, let's have the gun, Pop. There it is, Randy. Uh, give it to me. Uh, 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 uh. You look better in a fiddle. I... I... Crying jag, that's what it is, a crying jag. No, 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 he's sober. And for this, I let Gracie do my act, I'm ruined. Get out of here, both of you. Leave me alone. Uh, just a minute. Uh, Randy, don't point that. You couldn't fire this in a million years. The firing pin's filed off. He, he cheated me. No wonder he let you have it. Okay, Pop, what's the idea? I thought I could kill myself. Okay, you thought you could kill yourself. Why? I wanted to stop living this way. I wanted to stop lying to myself. So all of a sudden you don't like the way you've been living? Shut up. Okay. I'm sorry. Pop, you want to talk about it? Well, he already did. He already said... No, 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 no. That's not the whole story. You know, don't you, Randy? I know there's something else. What is it? Yes, there is. There's nine years of lies and cheating. Nine years of running away from something I want to face but can't. Tonight, I... I want to stop it. Stop what? Stop the whole thing from coming down. Coming down and killing me. And her. NBC is bringing you Night Beat, starring Frank Lovejoy as Randy Stone. Little known episodes from the exciting annals of American history are presented in colorful, dramatic, factual manner on the Cavalcade of America. 
which returns over most of these NBC stations on Tuesday, August 29th. The stories presented on Cavalcade of America feature Hollywood and Broadway stars who portray the many men and women responsible for the building of our country. That's Cavalcade of America, returning Tuesday, August 29th. Back to Nightbeat and Randy Stone. For a moment after Pop said that, he stared into space. His sightless eyes seemed to be seeing something neither Pearl nor I could sense. And then... Over on the dresser, Randy. Picture. Face down. Get it. Okay. You mean this one of a girl? Yes. Bring it here. Gee, nice. Hey, are, Pop. I haven't seen it in five years. Since... Since my eyes... She's a beautiful girl, Pop. Hey, that's Vicky, my my daughter. This, this classy-looking dame? Yes. You know, I've seen her someplace. Well, she's famous. What about it, Pop? I'm a great old man for a kid like that. Busted, broken down, blind, playing for nickels and dimes. Look, if she's the right kind, what difference does it make what you did? I lied to her. For nine years, I've lied. Well, what about? When did it start? Start with... When she was a kid, I was playing in a vaudeville house. She was going to school. That uh, and learning to dance. And uh, her mother? Left. Ran out. But I didn't care. I had Vicky. On days when I didn't have to be at the theater, we had big dreams. Great big dreams. I'd play for she danced. You're not allowed to get tired. Now, come on. Once more. Just right, Vicky. That's enough, (laughs) Dad. Okay, Lazy. Come here. What's the matter, honey? Nothing. Now, come on. Let's have it. I can't dance as good as the rest of the kids. Who said so? Me. What's your teacher say? Nothing. (laughs) What do you want her to do? Hang flowers on you? Now, listen. Listen. What do we always say? We'll go all over the world together. That's right. And you'll be the greatest ballerina in the world. I'll lead the orchestra for Vicky. France, Italy, England. Great big oysters full of pearls. You wouldn't let me down, now, would you, honey? I don't want to. Besides, we've always got each other, Ricky. No matter what happens, we've always got each other. I don't ever want to leave you. <laughs> you would, honey. Never. Now, come on. Let's try it again. Better. Got where I said she would, Randy. Famous. But you, what what uh, happened between the two of you? Things got bad. I, I had to take a job with a cheap band. Traveled. I kept her in school, and then... Go on, Pop. Then? I, I hit a grease toboggan. Bottoms up, huh? Yeah. And my eyes. But I kept writing to her. Telling her I was doing all right. I, I sent her money. All I could. I lied to her. Told her I was playing with a big orchestra. A thousand times I tried to pull myself together. I didn't. So where is she now? Coming here. To Chicago. How do you know that? Randy, yeah. on the table there, a copy of the billboard. Get it. Turn to the personals. Mm-hmm. I get it every week. No matter where we were, we'd, we'd keep in touch that way. I, I pretended to... Keep moving around. I mailed in fake addresses so so she wouldn't know. What's in this one, Pop? I always had somebody read the column to me, and and this morning, you'll see it, Randy. Oh, uh, Dad from Vicky. That it, Pop? Yes. Dad from Vicky. We'll be in Chicago the eighth. 
Please meet me, Washington Boulevard and State, under the clock at ten in the morning. Please, please be there. But I can't. How did she know you were here? It, it was my last address. She just, just, just put it in, hoping. Well, look what's so tough. Just meet her. Like I said, if she's any good at all, she won't care what no, you... No, I won't. Pop, you've been running away for nine years. You can't keep on doing it. Let her see me? No, don't you see, Randy? She's famous. She's Mavanya. Wow, she is famous. And it's still ten to one. She's got legs like a piano. Oh, come on. Hold it, Pearl. Hold it. The ballet's here in Chicago, huh? Yes, I, I heard that their first American tour in ten years. Randy, I, I want to meet her. Talk with her. Touch her face again, but I I can't. Not, not now. Pop, you're going to meet her tomorrow. No. She'll be here for only three days. During that time, you'll be what she thinks you are. She doesn't have to find out anything else. I never told her I was blind. Oh, is that a crime? Oh, Randy. Pop, you're going to be under the clock tomorrow morning at 10. It was easy to say, just like that. But I wondered what would happen. Playing with other people's lives is like splitting an atom and including yourself in the chain reaction. But I wanted Pop to meet Vicky. I stayed with him that night, got him into a clean press suit, made him shave and stay out of striking distance of anything that looked like a bottle. And then it was ten in the morning. That's ten, Randy. That's ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give it time, Pop. Uh, let's go, Randy. Before it's too late, let's go. Uh, take me away from here. You look all right. There's nothing to be ashamed she, of. She's bound to find out. Not from me or you. She, she'll want to know what I've been doing, where I've been. Randy, I, I've told so many lies. I'll have a few more on me. Do you see her? Not yet. I hope she doesn't come. I hope... I hope she does. She will. What'll I say? Uh, Randy, tell me what to say. You'll know, Pop. Nobody will have to tell you. Now, stand still. Take it easy. Help me. Help me tell one more lie. He didn't have to tell one more. Vicky didn't show up. Not at 10, not at 10.30, or not at 12 when we finally left the corner. I didn't want to leave Pop alone, so I took him to my apartment. I left him there in the lobby with the clerk keeping an eye on him while I went calling him. Calling on a lady named Vanya. My press card works magic, especially backstage. I got in to see him, Vanya, all right. It is so charming, Monsieur Stone. Yes, yes, of course, charming. Uh, I expected to meet you earlier. Oh, so? <laughs> I'm glad you did not. I'm afraid I do not look my best before noon or later. Maybe that's why you didn't show up. Pardon? I show up? Hello, Vicky. You... You called me what? Just Vicky, uh, for the present. I may think of something else later. I do not understand. Look, baby, I got a hunch you were there this morning. You saw him and decided not to stop. Is that it? Well, if this is a joke, monsieur, monsieur Stone, I do not appreciate it. Oh, please, let's stop the polite tennis. But, but, but you're insane. How it is tennis? He was blind. You saw that. He wasn't what you expected after all these years. Or, or maybe, and I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt... Maybe you didn't recognize him. Uh, you will please to excuse me one moment. Igor? Igor! Please, come here. You, uh, you would like maybe a drink? No, no, thank you. Look, Vicky, you can drop the Iron Curtain disguise. You see, I... Uh, oh, Igor, please, come in. A pleasure. Igor, this, this man is, is crazy. He says he flew a newspaper. Oh, that is very nice. And who are you? I, I am the ballet master. What else? We'll leave that unanswered for the time. Uh, to get back to you, Vicky. He uh, calls me Vicky. Hmm? Why? Well, that's her name. Now, look, don't give me any more of this now. Yes? Well, you're a... You're a brunette. A little gray, perhaps, but understand. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get a closer look. Igor, keep him away. I will go for help. No, 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 never mind. You're not Vicky, are you? Please, monsieur. I am Mivanya. Ludmilla Mivanya Krochenko. One of those is enough. I... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all a mistake. I thought you were someone else. But that is impossible. She... I know, I know, I know. I apologize again. I made a very bad mistake. Please forgive me. Oh, it is nothing. Please do come again. Sure, sure. Invite some fawns over. We'll spend another afternoon. <laughs> She wasn't Vicky, but she was Mivanya. 
I felt a little like the guy who opened the wrong door in a Turkish bath. I hurried back to Pop, took him up to my apartment, sat him down and told him what had happened. I'm not lying, Randy. I'm not. I saw Vicky's picture. I saw him of Vanya. At first, the guy could make a mistake, but not with a good second look. Randy, I swear oh, to you. Oh, come on, Pop. Give it to me straight. What's the deal? Why should I make up such a story? That's what I'd like to know. Brother, I bid. Hook, line, and sinker. I took the bait. Why'd you throw it? For the last time, Randy, I didn't lie to you. A gun with no firing pin, a fine, long story about a daughter. Great build. I'm going, Randy. Okay, Pop. Go ahead. You still think I... Excuse me, won't you? Yeah. Uh, oh, Pearl. Oh, sure. We were there. We had a... What's that? Oh, now, look, honey, if you... Give me that again. Now, hold on a minute. Pop! What? Pop! What? Sit down. Wait a minute. I'm going. You're going to sit down and you're going to wait. Now, come on. Oh, what's the matter, Randy? Is that... No, 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 no. Okay, Pearl. Give me the rest. Yeah. So what's the address? I got it. Oh, now, look. I'm going to bring Pop to you. Hold on to him like a mink coat. Don't let him out of your sight, and then I'm going to go to that address. Yes? Uh, how do you do? My name is Stone, Randy Stone, Chicago Star. Here's my press card, Social Security. What do you want? May I come in? But... Thank you. Hey, you've got a nerve. Yeah, today I've got to have. May I sit down? And if I say no? Well, I'll have to stand. I can say what I want standing up. I... All right, what do you want? I want to know why you weren't under the clock at ten this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. Dad, from Vicky in Chicago the 8th. Please meet me. Where... Where'd you find that out? Billboard magazine, personal column. I... I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. And so does your dad. I... Where is he? How is he? Well, first, tell me why you didn't show up this morning. Is he all right? I guess so. You guess. Don't you know? Answer me. Vicky, you are Vicky, aren't you? Yes, what about that? You want to see him, don't you? I... More than anything else in the world. I thought so. Now, how about tonight? Tonight? But... I'll fix it. You... You know who I am? As far as I'm concerned, you're Vicky. That's all I care about. That's all he cares about. I want to believe that. Well, you can't. No, how about tonight? What'll I say? Vicky, you'll know what to say when you see him. I wanted to be there this morning. I... Now, look, don't give me the excuses or reasons. Just meet me tonight. Where? I'll pick you up. A date? Why are you doing this? Human interest stuff. Let it go at that, huh? But... Tonight and Vicky. What? Uh, maybe you'll be a little shocked. I will? Yes, maybe you will. No, I'll see you tonight. And this time, show up. Hmm? <laughs> I stayed with Pop all the rest of the day. I had a story now, right up to the final paragraph. What the tag would be, I didn't know. I wouldn't know until that night. All depended on how things turned out, and I wasn't at all sure. When you play Mr. Fix-It with people's lives and emotions, you're cooking up a surprise party. Anyway, I had to try it. And so that night... Randy, what are you doing? Now, take it easy, Pop. Everything will be all right. I hope. Well, why did you bring me back here? Well, this is where you always stand, isn't it? Right in front of the burlesque theater? Yes, but I can't... Guess... Pop, you've got to trust me. Do you? I... I guess I have to, Randy. Okay. Here, take this. What is it? You'll know what it is. But My violin. Yeah, it uh, was lonesome in that hawk shop. It needs a chin to cuddle up to. Try yours on for size. Hmm? No, I don't want it. Randy, take me away from here. Now, look, Pop... Today I stood under a clock for two hours. I made an idiot of myself in front of two people I never saw before in my life, and all for you. Now you're going to do something for me. Now you get ready to play that violin. Randy. Huh? Yeah, hi, pro. Come here. Excuse his pop. Randy. I will be a second, pop. Well? Yeah. It's all said. Good. How long? Just a few seconds. Randy? One. You got your fingers crossed? All 12 of them. Run for your lives, boys. The dam is burst. Here they come. The gals of the chorus. Eight luscious beauties. Count them, boys. Eight. All right, stand over there. Randy. Randy. Yeah, I'm right here, Pop. I'm right next to you. Now, listen. Remember that piece you used to play for Vicky when she was a kid, learning to dance? The, this one? That's it. Play it, Pop, huh? Now? Why? Oh, Pop, play it. Now, go on. But... Play uh, it. Play it for me, huh, Pop? Hello there. 
recognize the tune? I... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Randy, who... Who's that? Ask her. No, it... Dad. Vicky. Vicky. Oh, Dad. Oh. Yes, Pop. Vicky. Here. Here. No. Yeah. Here, Pop. She's a big star, all right, but not quite in the same line you figured. But it's still dancing. Dad, Dad, forgive me. I, I've been wanting to write to tell you, but I've been lying all these years. I pretended you that lied. I... You lied. You pretended. I was tired of lying, running away. I, I knew you'd find out I wasn't with the ballet when it came over here. I... But I'm not ashamed. I'm not dead. You're not. Why should she be, Pop? Now, how about you? I... I... Vicky. Vicky, my baby. Uh, Pearl. Huh? Come on. But we waited for this. We didn't wait nine years, Pearl. Come on. Yeah. Okay. See you later, Pop. He didn't even hear you. Come on. Worked, didn't it? Could have gone haywire. Oh, I don't know. The odds were with us. Yeah. I got to apologize to her. Hmm? What for? No muscles in those legs. So there's the finish. It's funny. Two people lying to each other, dodging, pretending... And all it took was a couple of words to end years of fear and doubt. Well, it just goes to show you. Blood's thicker than water. And pride is a lot thinner than love. Copy, boy. Nightbeat, starring Frank Lovejoy, is produced and directed by Warren Lewis and edited by Larry Marcus. Tonight's story was written by Russell Hughes with music by Frank Worth. The part of Pop was played by Charles Seal. Others in tonight's cast were Lou Krugman, Charlotte Lawrence, Betty Moran, Veronica Pataki, and Ann Whitfield. Frank Lovejoy will next be seen in Milton Sperling's production, Three Secrets, released by Warner Brothers. Listen next week at this time and every week as Randy Stone searches through the city for the strange stories waiting for him in the darkness. Nightbeat came to you from Hollywood. Programs, get your programs here. More action-packed adventure mystery programs are yours for the listening Wednesday night on NBC. Hear the Falcon, Mr. District Attorney, The Big Story, Dick Powell as Richard Diamond, and Brian Donlevy in Dangerous Assignment. For stellar suspense-filled radio drama, tune here Wednesday for great adventure mystery shows. Stay tuned for the first piano quartet on NBC. NBC.